Hey, Taurus. <laughs> it's Roxy. I'm here to do a bonus reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, I hope you're well and staying safe during this pandemic we're going through. I wanted to let you guys know that not every reading can resonate with every Taurus out there. So just take what makes sense and leave the rest. So Taurus, you took over Aries' crown. <laughs> you guys watch my videos more than anybody else now. Uh-oh, Aries, you're slacking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you for watching the videos at all. So I'm going to pull 12 cards. Okay. I pulled 12 cards. Five cards fell out during the pre-shuffle. Okay, I'm going to go for those with you. And I also pulled two oracle cards, which I'll show you at the end. Okay. Now, Taurus. Oh, another thing too. My brother is a Taurus son. One of the best men that I've ever known. You guys are hard workers, loyal, stable, financially savvy, etc., etc. <laughs> I mean, you are people's rock, that's for sure. My brother is definitely my rock. Four of coins, four of pentacles, Taurus Virgo cap. This is you all day and every Sunday. <laughs> okay, so either you're holding on to someone or you're holding on to your money, okay, really tightly. And Taurus, I don't really believe you have to do that because I think by these cards, a lot of money is coming towards you by what I'm seeing here. I told my brother this too. He doesn't believe me. <laughs> he should. Yeah, here we go. Ace of coins, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. New beginning in money. I mean, lots of money. This is major money, okay? Even if you don't believe it, I swear you guys are gonna have a windfall coming in if you, do, if you haven't already, okay? Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, the fountain. Now, the fountain is um, in this deck. It's the abundance card, okay? This is the fountain tarot. I forgot to tell you that. All right, a really beautiful sort of um, paintings on tarot cards that are all over the world in different museums, okay? You're definitely coming into abundance if you haven't gotten it already. I mean, like millionaire status I'm talking about, you know? Not just pennies. <laughs> oh yeah. For real. Seven of coins. You're working hard to get there, though. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy again. I mean, you're all your energy is all over this reading already. Oh, it just began, right? So that's the fourth card that fell out. Okay, this is the, the last one. Nine of cups. Nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You know, the thing about the Tauruses are also is that you guys are very charitable, okay? You don't like to see people suffer, and you will give your money to somebody who doesn't have any. My brother does. He's a very charitable person, you know? That's what I love about him the most. So you definitely have a wish coming to you. Yeah, here, you came up as yourself. King of Cups, King of Cups, listen to me, excuse me. King of Coins, King of Pentacles, Taurus of Virgo Cap. I mean, if you haven't gotten this abundance, it's going to be raining. It's going to, you're going to make it rain. <laughs> I mean, a lot of money is coming here. And also, Taurus, lots of love, even if you don't want it. <laughs> even if you're soaring off love, a uh, soulmate or twin flame might be coming towards you. Somebody who you can't live without. Okay. Yeah. Somebody who is very nurturing. King of Cups. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus. Somebody you're not expecting. I mean, you could be with somebody right now and you're le or, you're, or you've left the person you were with, you know, because they could have betrayed you. But you're definitely going to somebody that's nurturing, for sure. Or you're the one very nurturing also. You could be nurturing also, right? You want to go to calmer waters with this person, and you will. Six of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is the water Uber. <laughs> this is you going on to a better life. And some people are not going to like it, Taurus. They're going to be like, wait a minute, you manned up and you're leaving me? This could be the partner you're with now or the one you just left. Yeah, this person is very defensive because you're you're taking a bounce. <laughs> you're walking away. They don't like that. And they think you have a third party, but you don't. You just don't want to be with them anymore, all right? You just want to celebrate with somebody else, Taurus. 
And the person you were probably with was a King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sag. And you found out this person is evil. You don't want to be around them anymore. They don't give you any happiness. So you're seeking out your happiness. Hence the water Uber. <laughs> this is a pretty quick, uh, straightforward read there. Now, Taurus, I picked up an Oracle card by Car Colette Baron Reed. It says, time for a nap. Now, you know what this is telling me? You guys are notorious for overworking. You guys are workaholics, period. You're very ambitious and you like to get things done and you're perfectionists. Can't blame you. You need sleep <laughs> and you need relaxation. You guys don't relax a lot. You don't, you know, you don't, you just work. You don't take time out for yourselves. You need to. The last Oracle card I picked for you was by Rebecca Campbell. It's called Work Your Light Oracle card. And when I shuffled the 25 cards, and this is the one that came, it says, don't dim to fit in. It says, how are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Don't dim your light to accommodate someone else's smallness. We're all born to shine big and bright towards. The universe is expanding and you're part of the universe, so expanding is part of your nature. If someone makes you want to attract, notice and slowly back away, they're not for you and you're not for them. Better yet, find it within yourself to expand and shine your light anyway. Flowers don't open and close according to who's walking by. They open and show their beauty regardless. If others don't want to be around you or make you make them uncomfortable, it's because you're shining light on the fact that they're dimming to fit in. By choosing to shine bright, you may just inspire them to turn on their light too, or not, but keep your light on anyway. All relationships are essentially an energetic agreement. The moment one person decides to start rising up and allowing their light to shine, it changes their energetic agreement and can create some waves. That's completely normal, Taurus. The relationships are, that are meant to last will adapt to the change in energy. Others won't because they were likely born under the provisio of, I love you as long as you don't shine brighter than me. That's okay. Not all people are meant to be in your life forever, but the lessons they teach you will still live on. So don't dim your light to fit in, Taurus. How fitting. Taurus, thanks for watching my videos more than anybody else. Now, <laughs> I appreciate it. Please stay safe, be well, and I'll see you next time. I'm sending you love, peace. Kisses. Mwah. Mwah. Taurus. <laughs> and blessings. Okay. Take care. Bye.